Hi guys, Josie here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be curling this old synthetic wig of mine that I have had for over a year. I was actually in the process of throwing her out when I got the idea of curling her to see if she can get a second chance of life. So please stick around to see what the final results look like. You guys can see here a few of the things that I used. Most importantly, my curlers, I am using perm rocks. And I made sure to put my wig on my wig headstand and secure that with a T-pen to make sure that it doesn't move around. Alright, so this is how I was placing the hair on the rollers. I started by getting the roller close to the root and then wrapping the hair down. And that is how I did the entire wig. One tip that I would like to add is to take your time when you are placing the curlers on the wig. I wasn't as careful and so I ended up with a few curls that were looser than others. Thankfully I was able to fix that with my scissors but it's just best to take your time when you're curling the hair to ensure that you get an even curl pattern. And now that all the hair has been placed on rollers, the wig is ready for the next step. I started with super hot boiling water. You guys can see by the steam that it was super, super hot. And I used a comb to dip the wig into the water. You can use whatever item you have available. Just don't use your fingers because that water is going to be super hot and you don't want to burn yourself. I checked on it about 20 minutes later, which I'm glad I did because that's when I discovered that a few had gotten loose and I couldn't fix it because the perm marks themselves were just no good anymore. So I had to think quick on my feet to correct it and thankfully I thought of some rubber bands. So I went ahead and I wrapped the hair around the perm rods again and used the rubber bands to fasten the hair onto the perm rod so it wouldn't come loose again. I let the wig dry overnight and here I am removing the perm rods. Make sure that when you are taking them off that you unravel from the bottom up. When you put the perm rods on you want to put them on from the root towards the tip and when you're removing them you want to unravel from the tip up towards the root. Once all of the perma rods were removed, I proceeded with finger combing the curls and I started out by making sure the ends were not tangled and then just separating the curls with my fingers. see one of the curls that didn't really take too well I just ended up cutting that piece off all right guys and this is what she looks like this is the final result I did change the parting situation so that I could create this bang and I will make sure to add a video of what the back looks like I think it came out a lot better than what I expected um, and for me it's like a really cute summer look so you guys can see the type of part originally what the part was but I went ahead and flipped some of this hair forward got my bobby pin so that that hair can stay in place and there my bang is set in place 
I feel like I have a brand new wig now to add to my collection, so I'm very excited. Let me know, is this a look that you're feeling? Would you consider curling your old synthetic wigs? I think it's definitely worth it, especially if it's a wig that you were about to throw away, which I was. I honestly like it. I hope you guys do too. Please leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of my results. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!